He was such a good boy. Anybody who knew him knows he was the sweetest, kindest, most innocent boy. A mother remembering her 25-year-old son barely 24 hours after he was gunned down in his brewery town neighborhood. <laughs> Milan Longcar was out walking his dog just before 7 last night at 31st and Jefferson. New surveillance images out tonight show him rounding the corner when two guys coming from the other direction on the sidewalk confront him. In a matter of seconds, one pulls out a gun and points it at his chest. As the pair begins going through Milan's pocket, a single shot takes his life. There's no reason to it. There's no reason to it. He didn't have any money on him. He didn't fight back. He didn't say anything to them wrong or it just, it's just too much. It's just not right. Amy Lonsbury says her son, a Temple Engineering grad, was just about a year into his job as a construction manager at Whiting Turner. A life on an upward climb, his girlfriend about to move in with him. They had already started bringing some of her stuff over. They were excited to start their life together. Everything was coming together for him. And I, it, it's just not fair. Tonight, Temple University released a statement saying, our college grieves for a life cut short in a senseless manner. I think these were kids. These were kids with guns. How did they get guns? How? How? Police are hoping a $20,000 reward and details in these images will help find the pair. Noting a patch on the left shoulder of the gunman's black jacket, his multicolored sneakers, and these black shoes with white soles on the other suspect's feet, light spots on his denim jeans. I would really like to know why, what, what, what were they doing? Did they really need money or they... They were angry and wanted to commit violence, or I, I don't have those answers, and I really would like to understand why. We thank her for speaking with us tonight. Milan's sister also lives in that same neighborhood, but her mom says she may now move. Both children grew up in Wayne, graduates of Conestoga High.